Hey, welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We are going to do a 10 Kiptail Crazy Charlie Bonefish Fly. To get started here, we have a TMC 800S size 6. And I'm tying, um, I'm using a, a 10, a standard chenille, medium size. And I'm lashing it onto the side of the hook. Uh, and then I, I did a double layer of thread to keep it nice and secure. I'm paying a little bit of tension, attention here to how I fill the gap near the eyes. I don't want too big a gap. And there's a couple of ways uh, I've chosen to go over uh, over the hook and leave the underside. You'll take a, you know, so I've gone over there. Now the underside, it, it's just the white thread. And sometimes I'll cover that up. And now I'm trying to smooth that out. This is a Danville 210 denier. That is my Norm Woods kip tail. Um, so uh, you have to, your kip tail has to be long enough. And I'm uh, I'm combing out the under fur. That's my Renzetti hair packer. That's the regular size. Uh, bit out of focus but there are those tips now not all the tips will be lined up properly so I, I strip out the ones that aren't and now I kind of measure that wing and I'll trim it off and I'm spinning my thread actually it's actually a counterclockwise and that way my thread will stay it, it won't run away from the wing, if, if you get my drift. Now I'm going to go slow here, and I'm just going to, I'm trying to make sure that that wing really is on top of the hook. And I, ha I haven't lashed it all the way back yet. I'm about to add some UV, uh, that's actually UV pink, uh, crystal flash. You could use UV tan. You could use UV chartreuse, uh, or you could not use the crystal flash. And I, I've just kind of carefully worked my thread back toward the eyes. Uh, I want to make sure that that wing is really right on top of the hook. So these are my barred rubber legs. Um, I think these are chicones. Uh, and that's a regular size. They're kind of wide. I, I could have chosen the micro, the, the smaller sizes. I just wanted one little rubber leg on each side. Uh, and, uh, and sometimes I, I'm, if I'm really up to the challenge, I can put one side on, wrap it over to the other side. Sometimes I can put both pieces on at once. But today, I felt most comfortable just putting on one piece on each side and trimming each piece off. The, these rubber legs, there's, they're not going to pull out. And, and right here, I'm just making sure that, that they are uh, symmetrically placed, uh, kind of angling back at a V uh, beside the wing. Lash that material down. And again, these aren't going to pull out. They're, they're held in very nicely. Um, uh, so I'm going to uh, smooth out that head. And now, uh, because I'm using a white thread, I've got a Copic, Copic sketch marker. Pardon me. Uh, it's a tan color. I could use a white, uh, a white head. I could have uh, chosen my uh, thread to be tan in the first place or I could use pink um, but I just decided to spice things up by tanning up my white thread it's my whip finish and now I'm going to use this uh, this solar res it's an ultra thin very dry non tacky it's, it's called a bone dry Maybe the nicest uh, applicator brush I've ever seen. Um, you have to be careful because there's some extra will uh, 
kind of drip down uh, on the applicator um, and then harden that up. And I'm, I'm just making sure that uh, my wing is still on top uh, and it looks good. So there you go. So thank you for watching today and every day. Uh, all the materials are available through the link below, as is the recipe, and also at the Caddis Fly Shop if you drop in. We'd love to see you. Again, let's have some fun time flies.